Today, let's talk about the two-in-ones and an update. So we've been out of stock on most of our two-in-ones for yeah, about a month or so, something like that. And we have had them in production, but there was a little hitch in our materials. So we basically went out of stock. And I'm guessing from the time that this releases, we're going to be looking at a few more weeks before restock, somewhere around mid-December-ish. We'll, we'll see. Uh, most of the materials were already made, but there were some MOSFETs that, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't even care about that. At any rate, they are being produced. But on this batch, first we're going to do the 1800 and the 2300 KV. For the 3000s, it's what I tested exclusively, and I never had any heat problems. However, some of y'all have had heat problems. So what we're doing is we are changing both our MOSFETs in there, reducing our MOSFET RD uh, on, what RDS on. The resistance of the MOSFETs by 25%, uh, it, it will be lowered by 25%, and I am going to increase the quality of the lamination, which is taking a little bit longer for the 3000 kV in particular, because when you spin a motor faster, the laminations have a lot more losses. So with the 10-pole in particular, we're going to go from 0.2 millimeter to 0.15 millimeter laminations just on the 3000 kV. It's really not needed on the others, but on the 3000, it'll help. Everything is going to help as far as cooling is concerned. So that will help our 3000s run a lot cooler, but that's going to probably put them into 2026 before they're actually done because we had to reorder our stator materials for that. And otherwise, they're doing pretty good. It's uh, no other major structural changes or changes to the wiring or anything like that in this batch. And they have been doing really well out in the wild. The majority of people really like them. There's a couple of complaints here and there. In particular, since it is still sensorless, you can overgear them and get some kind of hitching in between the sign and the regular six-step commutation but that's something that can be solved with gearing and long term we are still working on a censored version but it is going to require the support of this product for us to get to the censored version and like I originally said it's about a two-year lead time from start of a project to the end when you have a new ESE involved and we're you know six months or into that or or something like that. So uh, we do have the censored PCBs done, but we're having some issues with testing because it's, uh, it's difficult. FOC is very difficult. It's a whole new code base. So in the meantime, these have been doing pretty great. I do have uh, some ideas for the future on these that y'all might like. I'm not going to tell you right now, but if you want to make some guesses, guess down below at what you think I could do to these to make something a little different. In the meantime, if you got any suggestions for us, absolutely put them down below. If you love these, let us know. If you hate them, let us know why. I would love to be able to improve my products because we don't want to sell something bum at the end of the day. I want it to be good. So there you go. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day.